What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon Mtukulu. Welcome to my channel. This is the South African Geek. Like if you like my review, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel. If you are, thank you. About to dive right into week 17 movie, Thor Ragnarok. This was an event, y'all. Like literally an event. It was Ragnarok, you know. If you mythical like that, you know what I mean. And if you paid attention in the movie, you know what I mean. I mean, like, you just start off with Hemsworth's character, Thor, where he was at the beginning of this. You see his journey. And they give us such a dope flight sequence when he's getting chased, chased by that dragon. I really liked it because we don't really get that much flight sequences with Thor. And he's a flyer. He keeps talking about how he's a flyer. He knows how to fly. And we finally got to witness it. I mean, like, they kind of gave us that flight sequence because he wouldn't be able to fly the rest of the movie but it was kind of legit awesome um let's talk about loki for a second he was really enjoying being uh odin at, in asgard like <laughs> the way he was being treated like king surrounded by women and all that it, it was just something funny to behold uh let's talk about scourge scourge was hilarious where he was talking about tex ass that shit murdered me um matt damien and the other Hensworth brothers cameo was also hilarious loki and uh, thor's relationship was also something to behold because it was different this time like you could see that thor somewhat has given up on loki and what he like it finally dawned into him. Another dope thing about this movie, the Doctor Strange connection, the way he could teleport place to place. Um, a great addition. Another one was Valkyrie. Valkyrie stole the show for me. Like as out of all the new characters in the MCU, she stole the sh show for me. No lie. And we also got Hela. Hela was a great villain. I mean, like. They could have added more contact to her character, probably like more like past scenes beside that whole Valkyrie scene that looked epic. I would have loved to see how she felt when her father locked her up. She looked like she seemed unhinged. She was locked up for so long and she seemed fine about it, which was like, okay, now nah. talk about the Grandmaster and his clique. Grandmaster was funny. Jeff Goldblum killed this character. A lot of funny lines came out. I'm talking about sparkles and all that. Um, Loki's development, this movie was different. Like this was the movie to decide if he's the antagonist or he's gonna help the protagonist. It was a big part of that. Um, Taika Waititi is that rock dude. I forgot his name for a second, but. He was hilarious. He was probably the comic relief of this whole thing. And everybody was hilarious as hell. Thor with the new haircut looked cool as hell. I won't lie. First I was like, they cut his hair, but now it's it's so cool now. I'm excited for Infinity Wars. And he's rocking that hair dude the whole time. Another person, I'm glad they put Hulk in this movie. Hulk was a character on his own. He shined. He shined and Bruce Banner also shined. Michael Ruffalo, give props to Michael Ruffalo. He deserves, he needs his own movie. Come on, Universal. Mm. Again, Valkyrie and uh, Hulk's relationship. That moment that Bruce and Valkyrie were all about. I feel like I know you. I, I feel like, uh, but like, it was amazing. And let's talk about the Revengers as a whole. They were so unorganized. It's kind of amazing how they actually won this thing. One of the most best moments, the emotional moments, like that stuck but was so quick that it was forgettable but not really. It was more rememberable because of that get help moment was the elevator scene. Um, Asgard is a beautiful place, yo. I mean, let's talk about Throne for a second. It's a beautiful place. Hulk, when he was reversing that demon dog. Oh, Hulk is just amazing, dude. It's all about how angry Hulk was that they didn't let him fight that giant dude. It's like, giant monster! And then they're like, let's go! Dude. Yo, like, if I can have a, a gift about that moment alone, it would be, be killer. Another moment that I feel like didn't stick was Odin's death, yo. Like, the human this movie made his death not memorable. It just made it seem... 
like I'm, let me say Luke Skywalker kind of had the similar death, but he was more emotionally. I was more in, emotionally invested in that death than I was with Odin's death. Uh, Hela's destroying Mia Mia also was a moment that seemed. Well, the more they talked about it, it seemed like it was significant than the way it seemed because of all the humor and a lot of the characters from the previous movie were just like they really, really cut a lot of dead weight from this franchise like like the honest trailer said i really enjoyed this movie i give it an 8 out of 10 it's hilarious every time i watch it i find more funny things about it like this time was the lady sif moment in the play where they're like lady sif get help your other part murdered me like he made her so feminine in that moment and that's no so not lady sif also that story that hulk i mean that thought gave us about when he was eight his brother turned into snakes because he likes snakes he tried to grab the snake his brother turned back to himself then stabbed him yeah that story murdered me this time yo it killed me so much anyway it was a great movie ah deuces